For doing review lesson eight, we're going to talk about area and perimeter word problems. So remember, we're going to copy this problem down. A rectangular figure, so I'm going to draw a rectangle, has a perimeter of 36 centimeters. What could the lengths of the sides be? Give two possibilities. So I need to find what length or width could equal, or length or width could equal. Now, I'm going to take 36, and remember, I'm going to divide it by 2 because I need to find a length and a width. So 36 divided by 2, how many 2s are in 3? 1, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many 2s are in 16? 18. So 8, right? So I have 18. So my two sides need to add up to 18. So my length could be 17, and my width could be 1. 17 plus 17 plus 1 plus 1, if you added those together, you would get 36, right? Because 7 and 7 is 14, 15, 16, 36. All right, another way we could do it is we could do 16 and 2, right? Because those two numbers add up to 18. And if you added them, 16, 16, 2 and 2. 6 and 6 is 12. 2 and 2 is 4. 12 and 4 is 6. 1, 2, 3. So my, these could be my lengths and my widths. And don't forget, we're going to label these as we go along. Let's try another one. A construction worker laid 54 square feet of hardwood. So I know that if it's square feet, we're talking about area, because area is squared. In a rectangular family room, Okay, so the question is, what could the possible perimeters be? Okay, so we know if the area is 54, I need to think of two numbers that I could multiply to get to 54. Well, 9 feet by 6 feet would be 54. Now I need to think about what the perimeters are. Remember, perimeter is 2 length plus 2 width, right? Or 2 times 9. plus 2 times 6. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 6 is 12. 18 and 12 is equal to 30 feet. So one possible perimeter is 30 feet, but it's a possible perimeter, so it's plural. So let's find another way we could do this. Another rectangle that I could do would be two numbers that multiply to 54. Two and something, I know 54 is even, so let me divide 54 by two. How many twos are in five? Two, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many twos are in 14? Seven, subtract. So 27 by two, because if I multiply those, I get an area of 54, right? Now let's find the perimeter. So remember, perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. Perimeter is equal to my L is 27 plus my W is 2. So 27 times 2, I already know that's 54, plus 4 is equal to 58 feet. So that's another possible perimeter. Imagine a rectangle with an area of 28 square centimeters. So my area is 28 square centimeters, and you have a rectangle. If the length of the rectangle is 3 centimeters shorter than the width, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Now remember, in order to find perimeter, the easy way to do it is um, think of numbers that you can multiply to get to 28. So um, 14 times 2 would get us 28, but 3, there isn't a 3 centimeter difference between 14 and 2, so it cannot be that one. Um, let's try 4 times 7. So 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Is there a 3 centimeter difference? There is. So the length is 3 centimeters shorter, so my length is shorter than my width. So it's 7 centimeters by 4 centimeters. The areas of two shapes are each 40 square inches. So I've got an area is 40 square inches, and then another area is 40 square inches. 
Okay, the perimeters are different. Sketch the two shapes and calculate the perimeters. Well, I've got two shapes. Now remember, area is two numbers multiplied by each other. So I could have a five by eight, because eight times five is 40. I could also have a two by 20, because two times 20 is 40. Now we need to find the perimeters. Remember, perimeter is 2L plus 2W. So perimeter is equal to 2 times 8 plus 2 times 5. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 10. That's equal to 26. And then let's see, we're in inches. So that's one perimeter. This one, perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. My L is 20, so perimeter is equal to 2 times 20 plus, I'm going to do it to the side, 2 times 2. 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 2 is 4. So the perimeter here is 44 inches. All right? So for homework tonight, a rectangle has a length of 3 centimeters and a width of 2 centimeters with an area of 6 square centimeters. Double the length and the width. What is the area? How does this affect the area? Try doubling the side lengths again and describe the pattern that you see. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.